Uh, Jake, what are the students trying to achieve? Well, the students want to raise awareness of the levels of debt that they're being forced to leave the university with. Now, recent figures show that students here in Lincoln have higher levels of debt than anywhere else. And uh, tomorrow's protest is part of a national uh, series of protests, so students in Hull will also be having their own demonstrations. But here in Lincoln, the protest is taking to the streets. Students at Bishop Grosstest University College in Lincoln prepare for tomorrow's demonstration. On the placards, the size of each student's debt, none of them below £30,000. When we have to pay it off, obviously we'll have just started working, so then we're already going into a job. When we start teaching, we're already in debt. Well, I mean, it'll be worrying because a lot, so much of my pay will already have been going towards this interest. I've spoken to some second years, and with debts how they are at the minute, they're finding it really hard to basically live for the minute. So that is a little bit of a concern for me, especially for next year. According to the most recent survey, the average student runs up a debt of £4,500 a year, a total of 13500 by the time they graduate. At the University of Lincoln, debts are higher than average, nearly £6,000 a year, adding up to more than £18,000 by graduation. But even that's dwarfed by Bishop Grosstest University College in the city, where the average debt is nearly £9,000 a year and more than £26,000 after a four-year course. The real worry for students like Adam and Sophia is that student debt could get worse. At the moment, university tuition fees are capped at £3,000 a year. This is due to be reviewed and could rise. I think if um, uh, the cap goes up on tuition fees, we'll start get seeing a, um, a class separation. We'll get the people who can afford to get a degree um, going and get one, and the people who are just as able to get a degree but can't afford one not, and we shouldn't be seeing that. Jake, aren't student debts just a, a fact of life these days? Well, when the government introduced top-up fees, uh, they promised that there would be a review of the system in 2009. What students are worried about is that the tuition fees could go from £3,000 a maximum per year to as much as £10,000. The National Union of Students says that would be like a tiered system of education like they have in America, where basically you pay top whack if you go to the top universities. It's pretty much like to draw a parallel with the high street, your Prada versus your Primark. You only get the quality of education you can afford to pay for. Now, the government says uh, in response that there's no evidence that the, uh, the number of applications to university has gone down or that students are being put off by uh, finance problems. There we are. Very good comparison there, Jake. Thanks very much indeed.